guys welcome back to my channel today first of all welcome i already said welcome back but like welcome let's welcome myself back i've been gone for a little bit i feel like it hasn't been that long maybe for you guys but for me i feel like it's been a while and i definitely said that i was gonna post more videos but like i don't know the holidays in life happen but happy new year <laughs> and also if like the quality and stuff looks a little different i got a new camera for christmas yeah um i'm trying to like if it doesn't look that great or if it looks like a little out of focus or whatever like um this is my first time using it so i'm just trying to like find my way around using it and also i if i keep looking like over here a little bit to the side i have a monitor over there but i'm gonna try to not look over there but the first video is probably gonna be a little bit like me looking over a lot because i just want to make sure like i'm in focus and stuff but today i'm super excited because i'm going to be doing a alexa demi i mean we all know her like she's fired like i'm gonna be taking like inspiration from this makeup and picture which i'm obsessed with it's so nice like it's so beautiful she looks so fire like so basically yeah i'm going to be taking like inspiration from that makeup look so yeah i guess let's just get started so first things first i usually do my eyebrows off camera but like i did kind of one just to see how it would look but i'm gonna try to fix it because like i feel like in this picture she has very feathered brow and i usually don't do that so i'm gonna try to like do it on camera i'm going to be using this gorilla snot gel to be like i'm in the ghetto like this is ghetto but i'm going to be using this to try to feather my brow just because i don't have a clear brow gel i'm just gonna take a little bit and just like go upwards with my brow i put a little bit of um so i'll show you guys what i did so basically i just took some brow like pomade or brow pencil and filled in the end of my brows just because they're pretty sparse and in the picture it kind of looks like she does have like some product on the end of her brows so i'm just gonna do that and then i'm gonna take a little bit of the gorilla snot and just feather my eyebrows like upwards my eyebrow hairs are very short so i don't know how feathered this will look so I'm going to feather the tails too, but I'm also just going to like lay them down a little bit. We keep the ones in the front feathered up. If you have longer brow hairs, it'll obviously work better for you. But I feel like I just recently cut mine, which before I seen this picture, like I probably shouldn't have did that. But yeah, I mean, hindsight. <laughs> but yeah, that's the best that I can do. So yeah, then I'm just going to like kind of fill in some sparse areas. And like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, conceal my eyes and under my eyebrows. And then I'm going to start get started on the eyeshadow. I actually did one eye off camera and it looks really really nice like I'm really proud of it so now I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it and just like do the other eye so first I'm gonna take the tribe palette by Juvia's place I'm gonna go in with Tootsie which is this green color I'm gonna take it on like a flat brush and first I'm just gonna pat it into my crease but also like try to, like um kind of like a cut crease like flare it out wing it out there we go and when you're putting it down you can also like swipe it a little bit just to already get a head start on blending it so now i'm going to take my morphe m441 brush and i'm going to go back into tootsie and i'm just going to start blending that color out lightly And now I'm going to take the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to go in with, oh they don't have names, the yellow in the palette. I'm going to take my Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to start blending it out even more. Okay. 
and i'm gonna go back in with the green and just like keep blending so basically it's just like a pattern to make it more like pigmented but also blended you just keep going back and forth with the two colors the second eye is always the easiest like i feel like this eye took me forever but this eye is literally going by so fast i feel like first of all i'm just better at doing this eye but also i feel like since you already know the steps like you don't have to like try new things and see what looks good you already know because you already did the other eye <laughs> and now i'm gonna take this nyx pot concealer in the shade medium on a smaller flat brush and i'm just gonna cut my crease so the way that hers is in the picture, it's like very circular like how I did this one. So I'm just going to do that again. Okay, now I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to tap it just so it's like the concealer is all even. And I'm going to go back into the yellow color in the Zulu palette, but I'm also going to mix it with Maasai in the Tri palette and put that on my lid. Okay, and then now I'm just going to take this Morphe. It actually doesn't have a number on it. It was in the metal set or something like that. <laughs> I'm going to go back into the green from the Tri palette and just like put some depth into the crease just to bring that color back and also blend the top out with more of the yellow and now for the bottom lash line i'm just going to take some more concealer that i use for the top i'm going to blend that out i'm going to take this Dose of Colors flat brush. I'm gonna go into the green and just start blending that out. You can avoid the inner part of your eye because you're actually gonna put yellow there. That's how she has it in her picture. You're gonna wanna blend out the bottom, like make sure it's even with the top. I'm just gonna put some more, some of that yellow into the inner corner okay <laughs> now I'm going to do my lashes like put on some lashes and do my foundation and then come back for some like for the lips and then also some minor like details for the face because like like things that she has that I don't usually do like she has a lot of blush and stuff so I'm gonna come back and do that after I did my base Okay, I did my foundation and put on some lashes. I also put mascara on my under, um, my lower lashes. So I'm actually going to put on some blush, which I literally never do. But she has one like heavy blush in this picture. So I'm just going to put on some blush. And now, this is going to be very difficult because like, I don't look good in pink <laughs> lipstick at all but she has on like a very pinky like lipstick but also like it's glossy so we're gonna try to figure this out so I have a few uh, lip colors that I'm gonna try to choose from this one I know is very pink it's the melted and peony this one is NYX liquid suede and life's a beach actually i'm not even gonna tell you until i decide on a color so let's just see what these are looking like mm. i can't even so this horrific shade on my lips is nyx liquid suede and tan cookies it just looks bad on me like my skin color I'm sure it'll probably look better on someone else, but it does not look cute on me. <laughs> so, we're going to try to fix it. Yeah, no. I was going to say, it doesn't look that bad, but it does. <laughs> I'm going to do a new look. Period. This is the finished look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to be, this time I'm for real.
like for real for real i'm going to be posting more videos because i'm super excited to like i don't know i feel like i have a lot of like I don't know and I want to start branching out and not just do like makeup videos do other types of videos too so if there's other type of videos that you guys want to see leave it in the comments below but yeah thanks for watching please give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video